Hello and welcome back. Welcome to part three of your first website. Now by now, uh, I'm hoping that you have got your uh, server and you've got your domain name and you have the four pieces of software that I had talked about in my previous video, which is uh, some sort of an image program, a FTP program, an unzip program, and uh, Notepad++ or something else to uh, edit your templates with. So the first thing you do, uh, once you've found your template, you've downloaded it, and you've unzipped it into a file, is you're going to want to go through uh, whatever your browser is, click on File, Open File, and then you'll open the index file which will be a page something somewhat akin to this or whatever your template uh, index file looks like. It's going to have some lorem ispum dolor type crap written in there which is just basically uh, filler text and you're going to see uh, it's going to have a header with some name uh, business name. It can either be in the form of a logo. In this case, it's actual text, which we're going to manipulate in Notepad. You have a menu bar up here. You have uh, some of these have sliders with multiple images. This one just has one background image, and it has this umbrella and some writing. And this is really good enough for you know, demonstrating what a template's about and how easy it is to manipulate a template. Now, uh, what I guess the best thing to do is just get into it. And uh, you're going to open your Notepad++, and then you're going to go navigate into your file. You're going to open from your file. You're going to open your index file, which I already have open here. And uh, you're going to see a whole lot of HTML. Now the reason we're dealing with templates is because we don't really want to deal with HTML. Uh, if you knew HTML and CSS, you probably wouldn't be using a template file, or then, then again maybe you would. So I'm going to just go on the assumption that you have a very limited knowledge of CSS and HTML in order to, uh, to make this easy for everybody. If you've got an advanced knowledge of that, then feel free to jump in and change whatever you want to up there. Now the first thing we're going to deal with is right up here it says free C CSS templates, small business, Mozilla Firefox. So the Mozilla Firefox is the browser and that's going to be on the end of any anything that you put up there. But if you look in your title here, you have a uh, document type HTML, HTML language, and then you have head, and then under that is meta. And these are your tags where you would put your keywords and your title that go in that. So what I'm going to put in here is my first website demo. Now if I can spell correctly. And uh, then I go up here to File and Save. And you're going to see when I go back to the uh, website here and refresh the page, keep an eye on the top bar, that title changes to My First Website Demo. So now I'm going to change business name. So I'll go back into Notepad here. And I go back down below and I see Logo Text Business Name. So uh, since this is some lame name.com, I'm just going to change that with some lame, and then after name, I'm going to put .com. Now they have spans here, and they have a class that is uh, text logo. So obviously, in the CSS file, this text logo has a definition, which I'll show you. But uh, we're not going to modify that. I'm just going to go ahead and save this. And then we go back here and refresh, and somelamename.com. OK, but I need a space in there after name. So 
or after lame so I'll put a space in save that and you get the idea it just pretty much continues throughout the site now uh, without spending the whole tutorial just changing text uh, the next thing you're going to change in text is about this great looking web template etc etc so uh, right now I'm going to go ahead and change this background because I don't like the orange and I don't really care for the umbrella but first we're going to take a real quick peek at the CSS which is stands for cascading style sheet and if you go into your uh, file of files here you'll find something that ends in CSS typically these are in a folder up here let's say CSS but in this case it's off by itself and it says style CSS now as you scroll down through style CSS you see all of these different classes that they've given certain uh, things and uh, this defines the colors of your site a lot of the backgrounds the fonts and in general the layout so they have some clear commands here I'm gonna look for where they have uh, what was it I was looking at logo uh, this one's pretty short they're usually laid out a little longer than this but of course they wrap the lines a little better too so we got HTML this defines your background color on your uh, HTML this provides uh, there's a top background JPEG repeated logo which is your pattern and I'll show you that in a minute when we get back uh, wrap main navigation this defines your navigation home header page uh, main heading and important is a command that overrides other commands and like I said this isn't a tutorial about uh, CSS but I just wanted to give you a peek inside of here so that you could see what all is here and uh, if we go back over to index and where there was a class ID of text logo I'm gonna copy that and I'm gonna search for it in file here because I don't see it right off the bat can't find text logo well wow, that's kind of weird I wonder uh, if they have a second CSS file that I'm not seeing here because oftentimes uh, more than one CSS file can be referred to and uh, maybe that's part of the JS which is JavaScript and we're not even going to get into that because we don't really have time in this particular uh, tutorial to get into all that so what we're going to do next is we're going to go back to the website in the browser and I'm going to right click this image here that is a background image and I'm going to show you this image here which says main header dot gif alright I want to change the color on main header dot gif and I'm going to give it a light blue so I know this is main header dot gif so what I'm going to do next is I'm going to open up my image program here and I'm going to find main header dot gif in my file package so that's probably going to be in images and we're looking for and there it is main header dot gif so I'm going to open main header dot gif after dropping the mic, that it is orange and I don't want it to be orange I want it to be light blue or in the noise so what I'll do here is I go down to my color wheel I'm gonna hit more because I just like to know what all's in these things when I do them and I'm gonna pick a pretty light blue and I'm looking in my primary box over here and I see that that's kind of what I'm looking for here so what I'll do is I'll take my paint bucket tool and voila it's blue 
So now I'll take this and I'll save this file. And the file is saved as blue. So I go back to my document, back up, because I had clicked view picture. Now I have blue. All right, now my umbrella. I want to change the umbrella. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to do something kind of interesting here. I'm going to view image. It's an umbrella. And it is images umbrella GIF. So go back to my paint program. And that's not my paint program. There's my paint program. I'm going to close the other image. And in its place, what I have is a palm tree. Now, uh, this palm tree didn't begin this way, so I'm going to show you a real quick trick here. If I put the palm tree in the way that it had began, it would uh, certainly not look right in here. So let me open up the palm tree the way I first had it. And uh, I don't know where I've had that file at, but it's not here. So rather than waste a lot of time, we're going to stick with this. Uh, Actually, close that file. Uh, let's go back to the palm tree here. I'm going to take select, select my palm tree, file, save as, and that should show me where the palm tree is at. Nope, it doesn't. Cancel. So I'm going to file, open recent. And I see that I have a palm tree here. This is a palm tree I want to start out with. And you'll notice this has a white background, and I can't use that white background. So what I'm going to do to get rid of the background is I'm going to go over here with my magic wand tool. I'm going to click on this with my magic wand tool. And what that's going to do is that's going to take all of the blue that's there, and now I'm going to hit the delete button. And you see when I delete, you get this checkered background, which means that it's transparent. So now what I'm going to do is, rather than reinvent the wheel, I'm going to go into Images. And I know that uh, umbrella is right where I want it to be. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to find the umbrella. And the umbrella is a PNG file, because a JPEG file is not going to show up as a uh, uh, transparent. So it might also be a GIF. Yeah, there it is. Umbrella GIF. So we're going to save this as Umbrella GIF. We're just going to overwrite the other picture. And that way we don't have to move anything. We don't have to change any HTML coding. So we go back to the picture here. And we have our blue background, and now we have our palm tree. So the next thing we need to do is change all of the text in here. Now, one thing I'm noticing is they have a white background text in this particular portion of the uh, uh, template. So there's two ways I can address that. I can either go into the CSS and change this white background to something darker, or I can change uh, the white text, I mean, or I can change the background into something darker. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to see if maybe if I went a little bit darker on my background. So I'm going to go File, Open Recent. I'm going to open the main header again. I'm going to go a little deeper blue and up with purples here. Go a little deeper blue right here. Take my paint bucket tool and apply my blue using my paint bucket tool. File, save, and then I click OK, and then I go over here and see how that looks. That looks, you know, actually that looks a lot better. And you can see the white writing. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and change the writing on all of this page to represent what I want it to represent. And uh, since uh, that's going to take some time and we're going to deal with some other things, we're going to go over here and see what services says. Now, in services, I'm going to use pretty much the same format 
that I have that I'm seeing right here except that my images are going to want to change so let's see I'm going to hit view image and see what I've got here I've got image sample JPEG so what I'm going to do is look at the size of the images and I see that in my bar here it says it's a 238 by 148 meaning it's two, 238 pixels by 148 pixels so what I'm going to do is I'm going to find four images that are going to be those dimensions 238 by 148 and even if they're not I can resize whatever I'm using to that and uh, this is services HTML so this is about the only place you're going to have to really do anything having to do with the uh, coding in here and uh, so I'm going to open services and let's see services HTML now you're going to want to recode the menu on every page that you recode and in services we're looking for that images sample JPEG images sample JPEG and you see we have it four occurrences of images sample JPEG so my replacement pictures one of them I'm gonna call images sample JPEG and that way I don't have to replace that first image and then what I'll do is I'll call the second one images sample 2 the third one images sample 3 and the fourth one images sample 4 you can call them whatever you want as long as you also change this down here if that's going to be 4 then you change that to 4 if that's going to be 3 you change that to 3 if that's going to be 2 you change that to 2 and then you make sure that in this images folder where this original image exists that these that you have images in this size and height that are named the same thing that you have named here and then you just change your text and add what you need to add for text so that covers the additional images I'm not going to save that file I'm just going to close that file so that we still have that to work with uh, save file no nope. okay go back to index and on index we have our menu bar somewhere here and what I'm gonna do is find our menu bar here's our menu bar right under text logo class active now what that class active means is it means it puts a line under this because you're on this page so home is gonna stay as home but services I might change the word services here now it's href is services HTML meaning this is when you click this link on this page it takes you to services HTML now if you click this link it takes you to products HTML which is laid out exactly as services is and this link takes you to about HTML which is laid out pretty close to what services is but if you'll notice services has four paragraphs here and products has the four paragraphs and about does not have the four paragraphs so it's all in whether or not you need these paragraphs also you can remove any one of these that you want to I'm gonna remove products from the uh, menu here and when I do I'll just take this entire line right here and delete it and then I save the file and you'll notice when we go back here I deleted products so when I refresh this page products is gone now I can also add more uh, menu items now what I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna go to edit undo that puts products back there now I'm gonna cut and paste this I'm gonna copy then I'm gonna hit enter control V for paste 
and now I'm, I should have two product lines on the front page. I'm going to save this. We go back here and voila, two products. Now, what we can do with these pages, these are our additional pages. So if you'll notice that products and services all have four paragraphs and they have four uh, menu items, description items, then you go over to about and you'll notice they don't have the header paragraphs. They do have this we offer the best te technology solutions headline so you would need that headline maybe and you just change that to suit your needs and then you just change the text in here to suit your needs. Now you can make this paragraph as long as you want. You can delete one of these paragraphs if you want. So uh, basically in order to delete a paragraph we're just going to go back here and we find the paragraph in this particular case this is going to be on the about page and you go down here where the paragraphs are and you would take the entire everything here that is unique you'll see article class and a div and you want to make sure that you have everything that constitutes this entire paragraph. Don't uh, don't forget these are ending tags, these slashes. So when you have article, article, you have a complete package here. And the best way to see this in Notepad++ is if you click article, then both will light up on either end. And it works the same with all of them. So you click article like that. Works on class, it works on headers, it works on section and basically so what we're going to do is we're going to take this article here from article to article and we're going to backspace out and we're going to save that and then we're going to go back to our template and we're in our about page and we're going to refresh it and when we do we lose a paragraph there so that's how you make less or more paragraphs. Now to make more paragraphs you would just undo this to begin with. Okay, let's suppose this is where we're starting at. This is our starting point. We haven't clipped anything. Let's just say we're adding one to this. You would highlight the entire article from tag to tag and once again there's tag to tag so what you would do is you would highlight the entire article, you would hit copy, you come down here, hit enter, I hit enter again just to keep things separated, control V, that's paste, and then file, save, and you go back to your about page, you see all three of those, and you click refresh, and now you have five and you copied our process so our process shows up twice and that's how you add and subtract those now these down on the bottom you just uh, change those in accordance to what's on the top and for every page that you have you would want to copy your menus and make sure that you have the class of active active for the page you're on. In other words, if you're writing the about page, you want to make sure that the about page is active. You can name these pages anything you want to name them and they will be active. So that's it for this. I will wrap this up a little bit and uh, I'll see you back here shortly in lesson four.